In from Castro, nice shape on it. And there's the opening goal for Perth Glory. Adam Taggart marks his return to the club with a goal. Wonderful, wonderful service. In from Warren. Taggart's in there. And he's buried it. Adam Taggart couldn't really miss. But that's twice now in the same area. The Central Coast Mariners have been caught. Adam Taggart doesn't care. Gets himself forward for T. And that will be a penalty. Well, it's been a horror night for Jacques Fati. So Diego Castro from the penalty spot. <laughs> Castro against Nasevsky. And Castro scores. And perhaps the game already out of the reach of Central Coast Mariners. Combined here as well. Harold's making a good run in. Was there contact in the box? There was. The referee points to the spot. The penalty is earned for the Perth Glory. Well, I'm not sure how much Parkhouse knew about that. It's a great run from Harold. Good combination between Keo and Castro. I don't think there's any delivery. Parkhouse giving away the foul on Chris Harold. And for the second week in a row, Diego Castro. Can line up a penalty for Perth Glory, and he puts it away with ease. The Glory take the lead at the start of the second half for a penalty to Diego Castro. Harold, up past Rossi, right pace again from Chris Harold, and now Josh Risden with the overlap. He's got men in support. Risden can go the way, cuts it back. Marinkovic! What a finish from Nabosha Marinkovic, and the Glory double their lead. The Serbian getting on the score sheet for Perth. It was a fantastic run by Josh Risden and a sensational finish from Nabosha Marinkovic. That's the transition that makes this so good. Harold wins the ball back and Risden straight away takes a chance, gets himself forward and then just has the presence of mind to cut that one back. He keeps looking, he's seeing where he wants the ball. Castro was marked. That's a great strike from Marinkovic. Pressure coming in. He just gets there first, able to control the ball, throw it into the roof of the net. And just when Phoenix looked as though they could be getting themselves back on top, Perth Glory with a stunning counter-attack. During the week. Now Marinkovic, it's a long way out. Here comes the run, and he's picked him out. Oh, how good from the Perth Glory on the set piece. Absolutely sensational. Andy Keogh has his first goal of the season after Marinkovic found Chris Harrell delightfully. Well, oh, it's a brilliant set piece. And you saw he was quite a way out. He was never going to hit this, but it was, can he find the right type of ball, the right angle? The late run from Harrell, they don't pick him up. They're very static Melbourne victory. Not only are they static on Harold, but also Keogh. They're just sharper, and their good start to this game is rewarded. That's a terrific goal. Rehearsed set piece. Harold with the perfect cutback, kept his composure, and Keogh with the simple task of passing that into the empty net. Marinkovic's corner, and all alone was Dino Djurbic, denied by Brown, first time around, that's in. The Glory do take the lead again, and Andy Keogh has a double. And Kenny Lowe is liking what he sees from up in the stands. Well, again, static defending from Melbourne City. Led off the hook with a brilliant save from Pizanis, and they just don't defend the set piece. It's a free header there from Djurbic, then he's too strong, gets in. Keogh straight into the body of Pizanis, but too much power on it, and he's leaning back and can't keep that ball out. Well, you had it. It was just at an awkward height to hold on to, and also it's point blank really for him. 
Kenny Lowe from on. Josh Rose taking a risk. And now a chance for Keogh. And he's done it. Completes the hat trick. What was Josh Rose thinking? But Andy Keogh is not complaining. He's got all three for the glory. Who take the lead for the third time. And are they going to hold on for three points now? Well, that's a ridiculous mistake. It's a double mistake. And Josh Rose, you think as that ball's in the air, it's a real simple nod back to his goalkeeper. It's, it's not one bad header, it's two bad headers, but take nothing away from the finish because he's still got a lot to do. Josh Rose just in his own world really there. But what about the class of the finish? Brilliant from Keo to punish Josh Rose. Little clip over to the top of Buzanis. And Perth Glory for the third time take the lead. That's a great strike. And it's been a fantastic striker's performance. A hat trick for Andy Keo. That's not only the goals, he's worked tirelessly across that front line. The issue. Now we really see one of the strengths of the Perth Glory in their set pieces. This has been good for them this season. Perth Glory from the set piece. Rikovic usually good at creating from this situation. Curls it in. It's a good ball, dangerous ball. And Greg got the hitter on it. And Perth Glory equalised. We had two goals inside five minutes here at NIB Stadium. And the Wanderers' lead has been erased just minutes later, and it's Alex Grant with the goal. Well, it's a wonderful header by Grant, but credit the ball for Marinkovic. The delivery is absolutely spot on. Right in the area, gives Grant something to attack. And doesn't he do it well? Clisby, the one marking. Not strong enough. Alex Grant rises high to bring parity back to the glory after five minutes. But that's just fantastic ball from Marik, which you can see. Making a good run. He's got some support as well from Harold. He's got plenty of speed to burn. He cuts it back to the top of the area. And Keogh will tap it home. The glory take the lead. And it's through Andy Keogh. It's one of the few times this match that Perth Glory have been able to retain possession for an extended period of time. Work the ball from one side to the other. Harold finds a little bit of space to get himself through. It's good work from Risen originally. Harold gets himself to the byline, and the touch from Redmayne is crucial. The cover was on. Scott Neville was in a position to deal with it. Redmayne unwittingly deflects it into the path of Keogh. And the sharpshooter makes no mistake from there to put Glory ahead. Andy Keogh scores for the...